I've been in and out of hospital. I've known me know so many times, but I've never known this to happen. You see patients who've had their eyes closed all day suddenly open their eyes, trying to speak, reaching out. It's just the uplifting, the uplifting of the staff, the patients. It's made everybody's afternoon. We started working with our dementia care team and uh, the forget-me-not symbol is one that is used to identify patients uh, and Rachel used that as a, an idea for the project. The question was things you'd hope you, you wouldn't forget so there was lots of responses that were written down so I took all the responses and turned it into a song really with the chorus being um, forget me not. The two dancers uh, are interpreting that and uh, working with patients using participatory dance techniques to, to involve the patients on the ward. So it's a completely different experience and a really personal one-to-one -one experience that's really going to lift their mood and brighten their day. I think I like the slowness of it actually. The memories, the interpretation was, was sort of brought out. It was very good, very good. It reminds me of waterfalls and fairies and flowers opening in the morning dew. It was all, all very nice, one bit after another. It was very comforting. I haven't had entertainment like that since I was, well, I don't know how long. I think arts in healthcare settings is so important, it can bring something completely unique and special into that environment and something that's tailored for that environment with those people in mind. It can take people really away from their sense of where they are. Other patients have wanted me to wake up a patient to make sure that they get to see it so they can share that experience then afterwards. To have something to stimulate and look forward to and give that outside perspective that's beyond the hospital absolutely makes a real difference. I was down this morning, I feel a bit more happier now. I find it gets the people going. How did it make you feel? 20 years younger. <laughs> I think dancing and music are both two of the most relaxing exercises you can take part in, even if you're not able to physically do it, you can do it mentally. What's been lovely about this project is the way there's so many different ways for patients to be involved. We've just had a lady just now who's asked if she can have the lyrics so that she can remember them and enjoy, enjoy the lyrics again. Patients have things intervening on a continuous basis. I'm not giving a performance for them, I'm sort of performing sort of with. The lady that was asleep woke up and she immediately became engaged. Now I know that this lady didn't want to engage in any activity. She was like, go away, leave me alone. So to actually see that was really, I felt quite emotional. Well it's nice when you can participate, you know, instead of just watching. It was super. It really was. It's woke me up. Memories come and memories go. The thoughts are rapid, but the body's slow. And in the end, the memories are all we've got. So please forgive me now. I feel lucky. Because we've been trying to make a difference and the fact that they're here, I just want everyone to know because I think it could be something that could be used in, for other hospitals and other care settings. It's gave me a lot of ideas because obviously I'm the activities coordinator so I'll do a lot of activities from this. Things like this, things that bring a, a different element to, to, the, to the care uh, can only be of the benefit for the patients. In bed all day you don't feel up to doing much and I think you can shrink even lower. But something that lifts the spirit is very welcome. Make me feel as though I want to get up and do it with them. I got to do what Len Goodman says in Strictly Come Dancing. Come along now, what is that bum? <laughs>